Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on June 17th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a long awaited Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and your world weather forecast. Starting out here, looking at 304 angstroms on our sun. Pretty active sun right now. All of those active sunspots have now come into an earth-facing position and they are firing off C-class flares at us as well, B-class, and a small M-class flare shot off about 48 hours ago. Having a look at incoming imagery is brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. A lot of plasma filaments dancing across the surface. And in the outgoing position, we have the same thing as well as a plasma ejection. Watch for it to shoot off on the right-hand side there. Right there, big old loop. Closer look at that region here. There are at least three sunspots that are Earth-facing and are giving us small B-class and C-class range solar flares. No major CMEs taking off from these events today. Nothing that ISWA Space Prediction Spiral is showing to yet. Having a look at 193 angstroms, this is where we can see the darkened regions, which are the coronal holes. And they seem to be stretching into the southern hemisphere, slightly diminishing. And then we get to our solar winds and look at this. Uh, we are getting punched right now. We are getting slammed by over 640 kilometers per second solar winds. Just looking at the equatorial planes, magnetosphere movies here. And look at the pressure. The pressure is on as we are being hammered by, again, over 640 kilometers per second solar winds. And that is due to the event of the M 3.5 solar flare that took off a couple days ago. We were expecting it. And look at this. Started in on the 15th. We're sitting up over 649 kilometers per second topped out at but yeah it started back on the 15th around 5 a.m and has not really stopped and has now increasing looking at our solar x-ray flux you can see it many peaks there in the x-ray flux showing c-class flares about eight of them and as well the m flare geomagnetic activity was bumped up to a kp5 yesterday but very active solar influx right now. And it is so windy all across North America right now. Wind warnings going out across Ontario. Huge low pressure system that came from the Pacific and then gained energy through the Hudson Bay. Having a look here at the highest frequency affected, the absorption map. That was a long duration C-class flare that we had earlier today. Just before lunchtime, Schumann resonance, a power of 61. Right as we're being punched around by solar, solar winds, space weather effects. And we also saw earthquakes increasing. We were up over 270 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. Let's have a look at earthquakes, speaking of which. And... Because I haven't done a daily do update, I'm going to give you a quick update here. This is the last three days for earthquakes across the planet. We did see an earthquake swarm happening here off the coast of Oregon. Started off with a 5.6. And that was the largest through the region. Still seeing minor aftershocks. Other than that, no major events to talk about. A lot of activity through the Cocos Plate. We also had an earthquake swarm in Iran. Not very many deep earthquakes to talk about either. So it was quiet up until we started getting slammed by this space weather. And look at the swarm happening in Iran. That's off the coastline. Let's get back to a 24-hour period. As I said, we're sitting just under 240 earthquakes right now. 24-hour period according to USGS. 4.3 there, Georgetown. As well, the valley seeing a 4.8. Anguilla. Caribbean plate, very active as of late. D 
deepest earthquake to talk about here, 224 kilometer depth, Tonga region. Other than that, this 5.1, 221 kilometer depth in Uzbekistan. And then Iran, still seeing some minor aftershocks through the region. South America, pretty quiet. North American plate, no major swarms to talk about. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's carry on here to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well, most recent volcanoes that are getting updated. Popocatitl in Mexico, Reventador in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, and Nevadas de Chilean, or Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Dokono, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, and Krakatoa in Indonesia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting up today, updated today as well. Luatolo there. So about 10 volcanoes out of the active and erupting 48 that I know of. But watch for the volcano activity report coming this Sunday as well. Planetary alignments, positioning. Across the world, we have that huge low coming out of the Hudson Bay for cooling things down across Canada and eastern North America through the United States. As well, a big low in the center of the Pacific. We've got hot, extreme heat conditions that are still brewing through Arizona and Mexico. Two pretty big fires, one at Flagstaff and one at Truth or Consequences as well. There's another one in the southeastern parts of Arizona. So heads up, my American friends, it's going to get very, very hot. And that is our world for satellite imagery. Let's get to the forecast here. As the only major weather event of our time right now is this big low that's heading into Quebec. And then in the long range here, Friday, watching spotty showers right across the prairies. As well, an injection of warm air, so watch for thunderstorm conditions across eastern parts. Huge high pressure building in, and again, very strong winds. But watch here up into northern Ontario and Quebec for next Wednesday. Extreme weather event as the heat comes in. The heat will be on for Wednesday and into Thursday. And watch for scattered daily evaporation thunderstorms to develop through Ontario and as well across the United States as some more lows move in from the Pacific. Speaking of the Pacific, we do have two tropical storms to talk about. There's Bias and as well Alias, who is just east. And there's another area of interest in... Um, just south of Haiti as well that is building. It may not leave the Gulf of Mexico. It may just churn in there and gain some energy, head towards the United States. We'll see in the long range forecast here, a lot of big changes have happened over the past few weeks and we're expecting more to change as we get into the summer solstice, which is now four days away. Having a look across the world, Really cold temperatures being reported in Bolivia, breaking 100-year records. Two tropical storms to talk about. Things are heating up through parts of Africa as well. Overlooking Europe, big low-pressure system over Iceland. Other than that, minor low-pressure systems coming in off the coast through Great Britain and as well into parts of Poland. Stormy conditions through the Mediterranean developing for next weekend. Hot and stormy conditions through Central Africa throughout this week. Watch for large daily evaporation rains and then watch for something to possibly develop the Atlantic Ocean for our hurricane season. We've also got quite a situation here developing through Myanmar as there's a continual low that is trapped through here. Continual day after day rains. Monsoon rains are smashing into their landslides and many people losing their lives and homes. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Philippines, pretty dry. Australia, very dry this week, except for long range forecast into the 30th. Another low pressure system coming in. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike.
with daily events worldwide. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Leave a little bit of love. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.